Well, hello everyone. In today's video, we're comparing the all new Toyota RAV4 Hybrid to the Honda CR-V Hybrid. Before we get into this video though, as always, if you're gonna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. We are going to start things off by going under the hood of the CRV, where we have a naturally aspirated two liter four cylinder paired to a CVT and a hybrid system. It has two electric motors for total system output being 204 horsepower, fuel economy 40 around town, and then 35 on the highway. So, super solid specs for a hybrid crossover. And it's cool to see all of the uh, cables and everything underneath the hood. Now, comparing that with the RAV4, where we have a 2.5 liter Natchi aspirated four cylinder paired to an eCVT and a hybrid system. Two electric motors with the RAV4 total system output, 219 horsepower, fuel economy, 41 around town, 38 in the highway. So the RAV4 has slightly more power and it's also slightly more economical as well. Now popping over to the front end of the CRV, I think they did a really good job with the styling here with this new CRV. They've definitely cleaned up the looks. You guys can see not a bunch of crazy body lines or anything more minimalist with the design, which I think really works. And it makes, you know, modern Hondas just look a little bit more upscale. You can see how bright those lights are. Cool, uh, again, simplistic daytime running lights. And then at the bottom of the bumper there, you guys can see kind of looks like exhaust tips on the front. Weird thing, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> So, but overall, I think the new CRV definitely looks great. Now, comparing that with the RAV4, where you guys can see that it has the same styling that it's had for a couple of years. Obviously, they just changed the headlights last year, but the overall styling hasn't changed. A um, little bit more action with the body line, so it's a little bit more complex with the design, which some of you might like because it kind of looks sportier, but I think it's a little bit busy, but I still think it's a good looking vehicle. Notice like the hybrid logo because you got the Toyota logo that is blue. You got the fog lights as well. And, you know, when you put it all together, it looks pretty good. But let me know which front end you guys like more. Now, popping over to the side, you guys can see the wheels are all blacked out there with the CRV and pretty big in terms of the size too. It's kind of where everyone's going is bigger wheels and less sidewall with the tires. Um, but notice with the fender flare there, pretty flush with the body work overall. Got the blacked out mirrors, got the chrome trim around the windows as well, and then the blacked out trim at the bottom. And the side profile, I think it looks pretty good with the CRV. Got some distinct lines and it kind of has a muscular appearance. Now with the RAV4, I think the wheels look a little bit cooler with the design. I like the blacked out coloration more on the CRV. But overall, I think that Toyota did a good job with the styling there on the wheels themselves. And then you guys can see here with the fender flares, so those are pretty chunky. And then you got like the bodywork there on the bottom, also pretty chunky. The RAV4 tries to have this like, you know, rugged off-roader appearance. That's what they're going for. Whereas, you know, you guys can see with the CRV, they're going for more luxury. Side view on the RAV4, I think looks a little bit nicer than the CRV, um, but that's just my opinion. And then with the key fob for the CRV, very upscale looking. Again, that's kind of what Honda is doing. They're, they're kind of trying to copy Audi, I think is what they said. They want to have their vehicles be more like that. But decent uh, storage space here in the back with the CRV, as you can see. I remember I filmed this and it was snowing. That's funny. Um, but you guys can see with the loading floor, can't pick it up. So you don't have storage underneath. The regular CRV, non hybrid, does have storage space underneath. And then notice with the power hatch, pretty standard stuff. These new taillights look really cool. I think that Honda did a great job with the styling there. And then you guys can see like the sport logo. And then you got like the Honda badge, CRV badge that aren't in Chrome, which is interesting. And it also has the little kick feature where you can put your foot underneath. And then um, you guys can see with the covers over the exhaust tips. And overall, I think the styling on the new CRV looks really good. It's definitely an improvement over the last version, that is for sure. And then here's the key fob for the Toyota, definitely more plasticky looking, so I guess Honda wins with the key fob game here. Um, but notice automated hatch just like the CRV. Now, storage space here in the back of the Toyota is really solid. You guys can see you got a cargo cover built in. Um, if you guys are wondering in terms of size, I think the RAV4 might be slightly bigger. You also have the spare tire underneath and loading floor underneath because you don't have the uh, lack of storage there that you have in the CRV. So I guess the toy is a little bit more practical. Um, and then you guys can see the lowering there with the hatch. And then with the taillights, they look good. I don't think they look as good as the CRVs. And then you guys can see all the badges. At least they all match, right? They're all chrome rather than the CRV having one black badge and then everything else chrome. And then more normal looking exhaust tips rather than like the squared off with the CRV. And then, you know, 
I think the back in the CRV probably looks a little better. But popping inside, this is where the magic happens with the CRV. Again, Honda's trying to make their cars look more luxury with the interior, and you can definitely tell that with the material use and then also with the design and the coloration on everything, right? And the finish on the trim, it, it just kind of leads to that aesthetic. And like, yeah, look at the stitching of the seats. Like you think luxury car when you see that. Now room in the back of the CRV, great. Now you just got some vents, USBs, and then headrooms also solid. And then you can see, of course, cup holder armrests. You can never go without those in a vehicle. Now with the Toyota, definitely more towards the utilitarian side. Um, so notice that you got nice padding and everything. Uh, heated seats for the back, which is nice. Um, but it definitely is more, again, on that utilitarian side. It's less on the luxury appearance. But notice the seats still... Um, have that comfortable look because frankly they are comfortable i'd say that both seats are about as comfortable and legroom's pretty similar with both the vehicles by the way and then notice no storage pocket for the passenger that's funny anyways usbs vents a lot of similar features headroom's also great and then of course cup holder armrest so they're, they're they're pretty identical to specs so far right but anyways with the front door panel i'd say definitely honda wins with the design of the door panel that looks like i mean look at the trim and everything it just looks a, quite a bit nicer than the toyota and then notice the memory seat function blind spot monitoring for the mirrors and then with the front seats again like look the brown stitching and everything it, it definitely has more of that upscale feel to it and then you can see with the stability control and then the opening for the hatch right there and then look at the vents too i, I, I like the vents in the new hondas they're cool and then comparing it with the toyota uh, the material is by the way is pretty similar it's more of like the design that's the big difference between both of them notice with the window controls memory seat functionality and then you can see if the mirrors blind spot monitoring as well and then notice with the seats really nice uh, trim there um, by the way padding on them just as nice as the crv you've got your adjustments there on the side rav4 of course you got little storage space right there with some more stitching and then look at like the heated steering wheel button right there opening for the hatch and if you guys are wanting the steering wheel is also manually adjustable so I guess the steering wheel adjustments are the same with both of them. Now, I guess we'll see who has a cooler startup animation. I think that Toyota might win with their new digital gauge cluster here. But steering wheel with the CRV, again, very nice looking. Like, again, it has more of like an upscale luxury car appearance to it. Um, but it does have adaptive cruise control as well as steering assist. If you guys want to heat steering wheel buttons on the steering wheel, I guess that's more practical compared to the Toyota. It makes a little bit more sense overall. And then I like the contrast stitching in the center too. And of course, you always gotta have the stocks in the back, right? Um, but with the gauge cluster, notice they got the analog one on the side and then you got a screen on the other side. So it looks good, um, but I think the Toyota one might wow you guys a little bit more. But I think that's cool with the flip animation when you go through. And then notice it shows us like the battery charge right there. Again, traditional hybrid, not a plug-in or anything like that. Uh, and then notice with the drive modes, it kind of shows you a cool little animation. Um, now, most people driving it will probably just have it in like the econ mode, I imagine, or normal mode most of the time. Again, pretty typical with the hybrids. It's not like you're trying to, you know, race anyone with it. Now, popping over to the Yoda, right? Full digital gauge cluster. Ooh, fancy. Now, the steering wheel doesn't look as cool. Let's be honest here. Functionality is pretty similar. Still have like adaptive cruise control and your lane keep assist and all that normal stuff um but yeah they just um i don't know they just didn't do as good of a job as honda with going luxury side again toyota's more on the utilitarian side with their appearances on everything gauge cluster however looks way better the digital gauge cluster i definitely prefer the look of it and i think the functionality on it is really good as well and notice how their little icons are beeping that's just the camera that you can see that with those icons on either side you can't see that in real life that's interesting that that shows through on camera i think that's hilarious um, but notice how much information you can see and i don't know i think that like going through the stuff on the gauge cluster looks cool one downside though notice the glare uh, quite a bit of glare it's kind of a thing with digital gauge clusters cooler drive mode animations too my goodness look at that i mean you get this rav4 driving through don't get that one. get the little like picture with the crv so i'd have to say that toyota probably won in the gauge cluster game out of both of these vehicles. And this digital gauge cluster is gonna be in a lot more of their models. And then popping over to the infotainment system with the CRV, you guys can see you've got a backup camera there with the trajectory lines. And then notice you can see like the hybrid information in the infotainment system as well, which is pretty cool. I like they have a volume control uh, right there. And then you got little buttons for the channels with the radio. Response time's good. Overall, I think it's a pretty solid uh, system. So I, I don't have any complaints there. And then you got the mega vent, that's what I like to call it. And then look at the dual zone climate controls, heated seats as well and then you guys can see there's some usb port action down below those and look at the finish on the controls too wireless phone charging pad it's got all the nice features that you want and then with the toyota similar camera system both of them need to bring up their resolution seriously 
<laughs> um, now this is Toyota's newer infotainment system. Um, I feel like functionality on it's similar to the CRVs. It's just as easy to use. Now you can still see like the hybrid information with the energy flow tab um, with the infotainment system. And um, you know, in terms of looks, I want you guys to let me know which one you'd like to look at more, but they look so similar. They both have like tuner control there on the side. It's like almost the same infotainment system. And then look at like the padding there on the dash. You got storage space above the glove box here at the RAV4. And then you can see with the dual zone climate controls, you have heated and ventilated seats with the RAV4. So that's a little bit of a nicer, nicer feature. And then you can see the stability control and then little charging area with the USB action and a 12 volt. And then shifter here for the CRV, normal shifter, not buttons like what Honda is starting to put in some of their vehicles. And then you guys can see like the drive mode select, hill descent control there in the center. And then notice with the cup holders, and then you guys can see with the storage space. And if you guys are wondering if there's sound in the background, my cat's being an idiot. That's all I gotta say. Um, anyways, glove box <laughs> right there in the CRV. Decent storage space. Again, you got the mega vent. And notice the trim on the dash, pretty cool looking. Again, it's got very like Audi appearance to it. It's the best way to describe it. And then sunroof there at the top of the CRV. And then popping back over to the Yoda, got more of like a rugged looking shifter right there. And then you guys can see with the parking brake right there, notice you got a trail mode, your drive mode select. Dial definitely looks cooler than what the CRV has. So it's different, different elements within them look cooler. Like notice that changes color with the drive modes. That's a really cool touch. You got your EV mode as well some cup holders, and then you guys can see a storage space in the center console with the RAV4. It's pretty cool. They have that trim throughout. And then you can see the, on top there, and then also the glove box. And then you can see sunglass holder and then sunroof as well. So let me know which one you guys like out of the bunch, whether it's the CRV or the RAV4. What I'd have to say is I like the styling slightly more in the CRV. Interior is a little bit more luxury, but the RAV4 definitely has much more impressive hybrid specs compared to the CRV. Again, better fuel economy, more power, and then EVCVT, right? It's going to have better reliability long term with that uh, transmission. But, anyways, let me know which one you'd pick.